for the title match, Joel Armstrong. Well, the belt is being shown by referee Joel Armstrong and the um, wrestlers are ready. Ex-champion Junkyard Dog. He had the belt taken from him in the Superdome in New Orleans and by Hacksaw Butch Reed. The Hacksaw, powerfully built individual. You look at the Junkyard Dog and you say exactly the same thing. Hacksaw, a former pro football player, former All-American. He is here in a, the ring where he is on the uh, on his own. And so is the junkyard dog as the referee finally gets them to the center. He's trying his best to get these two temperamental and high strung and headstrong and rugged individuals to step out to the center and the junkyard dog is doing a job of telling him off and here we're going to set who is the North American champion as junkyard dog tempts him into throwing the first wallop and goes after him Driving headbutt and it sends Axel Reed down on the canvas and our intrepid cameraman gets right behind him and holds her ground and gets the shot. So Reed has been belted. And Reed now is being tested and tested to the limit here by Junkyard Dog and the bell has scarcely been rung. So the dog, eager, anxious to get that belt back, eyeing Hacksaw, keeping that fist of his ready, keeping in a wrestling stance so he can move in and take a hold if necessary. But Hacksaw, rather junkyard, dog, has one thought in mind, that if he can just knock the block off of Hacksaw Reed, if he can just shut his mouth by planting those knuckles in between the teeth that he is most certainly going to have revenge as well as get his title back. So the, the dog surveys Reed who has a trickle of blood running out of his nose. The dog is calm it, outwardly but he is a seething volcano. I watched him in the dressing room tonight and I want to tell you that he reminded me of Kilauea and ready to run over with molten lava. That's Reed doing the pounding. Reed has the light trunks on. That's the shoulder laid in there with a vengeance. And the junkyard dog is looking for an opening, but he didn't find it, so he hung on and he can roll back. He plastered him, he belted him, he spread him out. And Reed literally stood on his head. There's the hacksaw. Referee tolls the count. The hacksaw just doesn't know which way he's gonna go. Whether he's gonna go around that ring or maneuver his way into the ring slowly but carefully. Now listen to these fans. Listen to them, they're really sounding off as these 10,000 fans here let loose with a roar in support of JYD. Certainly wrestling is a sport that brings people of all sizes, shapes, and ages and descriptions together, and they love it and enjoy it. Reed down and he got an extra clout in the head as he laid that wallop in there and Reed's in trouble. The junkyard dog 
eagerly waiting as Reed starts up to his feet and then falls backwards just because he doesn't have any balance left. So Reed made it up and noticed that the junkyard dog is stalking him. Stalking him like a junkyard dog, I might say. With the arm, look at the muscles on that fellow Reed. Mm. He needs them. When you wrap an arm around that steel cable and start bending it, something's going to give and it's not going to be the cable. So you'd better have a strong arm in the first place. Hamelock for Junkyard Dog as Reed maneuvers to his feet. There's the turn, the twist, up the back. And he, he went to reverse the hold, but he missed. There's a twisting arm lock for the Junkyard Dog. But it's Reed who now is fired up and wants to punish the dog and the dog that caught a solid blow on the whiskers that time and listen to that JYD listen to the uproar the noise that comes from all sections of, of this building on top Reed and Reed bears in there and bears hard on Junkyard Dog it's a chokehold where he's listening to the referee and when the referee Gets near that five, he lets go, goes right back in and gets it again. And now as he drops in there with that knee drop, he forgot about the power of the dog who can bench press more than 500 pounds and can lift a man like the hacksaw up in the air if he needs to. Drop kick. The dog in trouble. And Reed lays it in there, steps Five, on the throat, eight, just under the whiskers, five, and lays the pressure in there for all that he can. Five minutes have gone by, and the hacksaw, Butch Reed, is up in the air, and right smack into the fist of Junkyard Dog. Driving headbutt, and as... He scooped him, he came across there and hit him underneath the chin, took him down, with, uh, and as he did that, Junkyard Dog was clobbered at the same time. Now it's Reed who seems to be recovering first. The referee is counting how the fans are roaring their approval of Junkyard Dog, and that got some motion out of him. Now here are two guys who take pride in their ability to headbutt and Junkyard Dog is finding that headbutting an immovable object or one that can withstand punishment is as tough a job as you can find. They're both staggering from the simultaneous effort to dent each other's craniums. And now as they, they both get the same idea, Sock, no defense, just hit. Almost simultaneously, they reach out and start applying chokeholds. Now that's the third time in a row that they have uh, used the, the same holes, and this in itself is a, is a matter of style. The man on top is the dog, and the, now it's Reed who comes in on top there, and Reed who leans in tight and, and starts to press him. But he forgot about the long, strong arms of the dog that reached around there and pried him loose. So it's give and take. In behind, the dog. Reverse chin lock. He's got the chin of Hacksaw Reed safely nestled right in the crook of his elbow. It's not a chokehold. It is a good, solid grip. And now it's Hexor underneath. The count was close. Remember, this is for the North American Heavyweight Championship belt. And Hexor Reed brought it into the ring. 
He won it in New Orleans in the Superdome with a win over Junkyard Dog, a win that has been hotly protested by the dog and by others too. But the belt is in Reed's possession. And the only way the dog is going to get it back is to beat him. Test the strength, and these are powerful individuals. Now, as the elbow is put into play, first in the back of the neck and then alongside the jaw, it shows a versatility and an effort to really apply the coup de gras in this battle. Here's Reed coming off that top, that middle rope, rather, of diving and he landed. And this could be it. There's one, and there goes Reed. The dog just heisted him up and threw him loose from behind. Butch Reed, you see what he's doing. He's keeping up tight against him. Here comes the roar, the plea, the appeal by the fans. The effort to spark something in the junkyard dog that will get him out of trouble. Referee warning the, the, the hacksaw, the champion, and JYD's fans now have not been able to spark that movement out of him, but um, you're looking at Hacksaw, from his viewpoint, the junkyard dog is either down or close to being down. The referee bounces around from one side to another, checks, and, and Hacksaw is putting a foot on the ropes. He is putting a foot on the ropes and getting a little extra attention. Architect. Our camera person, our camera girl at the ringside has been able to pick that up right from right behind Butch Reed. And she's hoping he doesn't kick through there and catch her. Reed on top, underneath. Reed, there again comes the quest up. Ten minutes have gone by. And... There, there, there's the effort, the pounding, using punching bag style, but Junkyard Dog doesn't like being used as a punching bag. He does what he's doing right here and right now. Caught him, close line. Put out that forearm and took him right off his feet. And now it's Junkyard Dog who finds an advantage. Two. No, oh, the referee indicated that he just said one. Not two, and certainly two doesn't win the match. Three wins the match as Junkyard Dog moves in and applies that headbutt. He's holding Reed up. You can see that. And he's looking around for approbation from the fans, and they are telling him to go right ahead and do something about it. Hacksaw puts Reed smashed across the canvas with that driving butt of the head right into his own forehead, and Joe Junkyard Dog came crashing down against the, the forehead. Reed's in trouble. Reed is bleeding now from the, that last headbutt was a telling blow by Junkyard Dog. And as the dog comes pushing in and driving, they're both looking for superior position in the give and take. And again, as Reed comes in, he takes the grip around the throat, presses in tight against them and tries for what could be a chokehold, it could be a grip on the trapezius muscle. Either one has an effect on the give and take. A lot of hard give and take between this pair. And Reed is knocked off his knees. Junkyard Dog has as much ability to throw a punch while he's on his knees as he does. He is in a standing position. And the referee has just been clobbered by the crash that time as that flying body hit him. And Junkyard Dog 
is the recipient now of the toughest attack that Reed has been able to throw yet. Here comes Johnny Martinez moving into the ring. Joel Armstrong is out on the floor and um, and there was a crash into referee Johnny Martinez we've got the big 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 Bundy into the ring and clobbering and we've got referees out of the ring and on the concrete and Bundy goes to lay him in and catches Junkyard Dog. Oh man, you rarely see see the Bundy knocked off his feet by a um, flying tackle, but you sure did see him that time. And here is Hacksaw Reed off the top rope. And the drive off the top rope. And Reed is on top and Reed is bleeding. Reed is in a bad way. That's Johnny Martinez, one of the referees who came down to the ring and Hacksaw, Hacksaw Reed came off that top rope. Now according, according to Mid-South rules on the North American title, coming off the top rope is a disqualification. There is no use of the top rope. Bundy was in that ring and Junkyard Dog here is having troubles and I Joel Armstrong is changing the decision and giving it to Junkyard Dog, who is declared the winner of the match, but I'm afraid it's going to be on a disqualification. Butch Reed has been disqualified for Bundy's interference. But under the rule that a, a title cannot change hands on a disqualification, Reed still holds it, but Junkyard Dog is declared the winner.